Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. We got a one nothing game to this point. Monahan's won the draw there on the attack. Delayed penalty coming up here. Quick whistle stops the play. Up by one and you take a penalty, applying some pressure to the PK unit here as a power play as an opportunity to get the equalizer. Both teams lining up for the face-off, and it's a chance to see if there's actually some power in this power play. Power plays are a funny thing, especially when you're down by one, James. You have to act as if you are the hunter, and you have to possess that puck and attack. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Moves it quickly over to Armia. Delays it with the save. And he takes the dish. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Moves it to Armia. They go on the attack through center. Oh, what a chance there! Well, it almost looked like he converted a quick release shot. He had no time or space, but unable to put it by. Drury's at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. The Canadians will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Dulonin's penalty is almost expired. The Canadians go to work on offense. Montreal's man is out of the box and we're back to even strength. Specialty teams are critical, especially when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity to get the equalizer and they just weren't able to generate anything on that one. And that's a tough one to take as they remain down by a goal at even strength. feet in support of you because you know you hear booze often when you let a bad one in so embrace it you can tell that he's feeling it right now takes a shot and the goalie covers up for the whistle Montreal's coaches were preaching lots of shots on net and they have done it and lead as a result here in the second the Canadians take possession here inside the offensive zone Answered the call on that one. Oh my goodness, it's Stato! What a save! It was all but in, James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. The goaltender, they have to have talent, they have to have mobility, and they have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot, and that's exactly what happens here. No battling, no willing, and you make the save. Montreal's won the draw. And he totally whiffs on that one. Nietzsche's carries the puck in his own zone. Carolina's in transition. Dumps it in. The Canadians gain control of the puck against the wall. Carolina's got possession at center. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to evens, James. I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. But when you're in tight to the net, you don't have much margin of error here, and he's able to find the back of the net. It's all about accuracy, not necessarily how hard the shot is. Carolina's equalizer comes on a lot of hard work here in period number two. The coach will be happy with this performance, the pushback, the fight to claw their way back in late in the second, and this will set them up nicely for the third. Quick feed to Svechnikov. He's got a step. Oh, but just kind of muffles that one. Well, he 
he muffles it because he's in tight. And when you're in tight, you run out of room and you run out of option as well. You gotta find a way to get the puck to the net. Slides it over to Tara Vinen. Smart heads up play to intercept the pass. 40 minutes to play in the books. Both teams will get one last chance to catch their breath. And then it's on to period number three next. Don't forget, fans, if you're here with somebody celebrating a birthday tonight, go for our guest services booth. Welcome back to EA Sports, the final frame of this one. Here we go, period number three is underway, still looking for who that hero will be. Maintains control of the puck. Here's a short pass to Svechnikov. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Matheson's been nabbed for tripping. The power play unit goes right back to work. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. The Canadians cross the blue line and are on the attack. Carolina's got a hold of the puck now. Quick pass to Ajo. And here's a pass to Bunting. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. That's blocked. Sends the pass over. And he takes the feed. Puts it on there. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level when you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game. You know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Ajo's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Carolina's got the win off that draw. Angles it over to punting. Good use of the body on the play. A feed out front! Oh, and he comes up with a stop! Sveshnikov's got it in the defensive end. Matheson's up and ready to get back on the ice. Oh, big time save by Allen! That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Moves it quickly over to Harris. Pass in front! What a chance, but they can't connect. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Ajo stick handling in his own zone. Moves it to Jarvis. Slides the puck over. Shot! Oh, that save! Tremendous agility there by Allen. Receives the pass. Here's a shot! Answers the call! And that puck leaves the zone. Taken by Harris. From the right side, they gain the zone. A center feed! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Grabbed along the board by Harris. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. It's all tied up. Montreal's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Scores! And we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands, and now it's about building off of that. Good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now is on the line. Down the go-ahead goal here in the back half of the third period. This is exactly where they want to be, James. Late in the third period, you have the lead. Now you have the momentum, and you certainly want to attack, but you want to make sure that you're in good defensive posture when the puck transitions. Denies him on the Scores! All over the rebound, and tucks it in for the goal. That's 
great puck movement, James. Working hard away from the puck to support the puck carrier. And they gained that entry because they got numerical advantage. And they capitalized and executed with it. The Canadians are all smiles on the bench now here in period number three. Holding down a two-goal lead. Well, it's been a competitive game. And now they sit in control here with that two-goal lead, James, in the back half of the third period. Now it's about managing the puck. I expect them to play a little safer, but expect a push from their opponent. Puck is grabbed here inside the offensive end by Anderson. There's the whistle. We'll get a reset after the net was knocked off. The Canadians continue to lead here in the third, listening to their coach's message. Lots of pucks on net. Evans gains possession at center ice. Tender, James. I mean, listen, when structure breaks down and there's all kinds of stuff going on in front of you, you can't track, you can't get your eyes on the puck and it winds up in the back of your net. Montreal's performance tonight still showing no signs of let up here in this third period. Well, they've had such a impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice and there's been no lag or no let up. The message has been cleared by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. Can't pull the trigger. Forces the turnover. And now it's taken by Gallagher. Turn that one aside. Quick feed to Slavin. Slides the puck over to Tara Heinen. All alone. on a breakaway and some guys know exactly what they want to do and some guys take what's given but what a shot that is he had no chance Carolina's clearly sending a message that they're not going to roll over in this one with a two goal deficit they have to have desperation and urgency they'll need two players on the puck at all times retrieval to possess the puck is necessary the Canadians win the face off <laughs> Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Quick shot. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Puck and Yemi's back on the ice after serving that five-minute major for fighting, and it's certainly appreciated to have a physical element to your game. You know his teammates certainly appreciate it, but, man, you got to find a way to generate offense, and the only way you can is when you're on the ice. Burns takes it into the offensive zone. And now it's over to cut Kaniemi. Here's a chance. Cuts it with the stop. And he makes that save as well. Too much congestion in front. Takes it and looks ahead. Slides it diagonally to Bunty.